What's up, y'all? John Delarose here, the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. Depending on when I release this, you might get two videos today. You might only get one. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But I saw Sonic the Hedgehog with my children, and uh, as a children's movie, it is a fun, good movie, and uh, nothing super objectionable about it. Uh, just uh, some good old adventure. I guess the moral of the story was we all need friendship and can't go it alone or something like that, which is okay. I mean, that's that's what you uh, get in a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, stuff that's geared towards children. It's kind of the uh, kind of the moral of My Little Pony and all that, which uh, has been a big success lately, and so they probably went with something a uh, little similar on that front. A lot of the jokes were cheesy. Um, the CGI, I mean, I hate, hate, hate CGI, especially, like, over-the-top CGI, but you know, I mean, if you watched Roger Rabbit back in the day and had enjoyed that animation intermixing with, you know, real people or whatnot, uh, you know, this is going to be very similar on that level, I guess. Um, so, uh, you know, the movie starts out with this like Sonic the Hedgehog, and he's on this weird world with rings and stuff like that, and he's got tremendous power, and everybody's going to want to use his power, and uh, he's got to go on the run because, you know, he doesn't got to, he can't be, uh, uh, have his power abused, basically. Ends up on Earth, hides on Earth, and eventually gets so lonely that he uh, he doxes himself, I guess. <laughs> and uh, ends up uh, uh, being tracked down by this crazy government agent who ends up being Dr. Robotnik. So he's helped by a local cop who he identifies with as a friend, even though, because he's kind of been watching and stalking this cop and his uh, fiance for years. And uh, they go on like a road trip uh, bro adventure uh, of a dude and a cartoon hedgehog uh, to where they hijinks ensue. Dr. Robotnik chases them down and then, you know, they have to eventually face the villain and, and stop running, right? So that's it. I, I, that's, that's it without major spoilers, I guess. Um, it's, a, it's just a, it's a very straightforward movie, uh, very easy movie to watch and get into. You can get up, get a cocktail, come back, and you're probably not going to miss that much. Uh, it's it's just a very popcorn action flick, and it's fine. My children really enjoyed it. Uh, they had a lot of fun with it. Uh, they thought the jokes were a lot funnier than I did, uh, which is a good thing. And um, I, like I said, I didn't really see anything that was, like super objectionable about it. So it's uh, it's pretty easy entertainment for the family. Uh, there's a little bit of violence and all that, um, but it's uh, but it's mostly all right. And that's uh, that's a lot more than I can say for a lot of films these days. So. Given that, you know, I gotta almost rate it higher than I would uh, just as a movie uh, that I'd go see myself. I mean, since it was aimed at kids and aimed at being a family film and all that, um, it was, uh, you know, it, 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 it's pretty solid on that level. Uh, I enjoyed Detective Pikachu more if you wanna compare animated uh, sort of live action, weird video gamey type things. Um, I, but those, again, there were jokes in there that I think were more geared towards adults that they would, you know, just hope would go over the kids' edge, heads in that. Um, and so it ended up, uh, I'd say that one was more geared towards uh, appeasing the parents while entertaining the kids, while this one was more, much more geared towards uh, in the kids' enjoyment, uh, not even taking the parents into consideration whatsoever, which is fine. Um, so... Yeah, pacing was good. Uh, I didn't get bored at any point in the movie. Like I said, I, I kind of didn't laugh at a lot of the jokes. I thought Jim Carrey was Jim Carrey. I mean, he is the same character in every movie. He's a zany, weird person. And that's all I've got uh, to say about that. So if you like my take on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will be back soon with another video. And talk to you soon.